Hey guys, we just keeping it moving here at the Love Fest and we are blessed to have with us Brother Emmanuel Gabriel Scott, owner, founder, and producer of Professional Empire. And as you can see, the brother obviously know what he doing. Because to be able to rock an ensemble like this is not just something that's by chance. And I, I understand that. See, I'm from the west side of Detroit originally, Detroit, okay. so I understand the whole rag. I'm just doing this from a marketing perspective. No worries, no problem <laughs> ABM got to be marketed, yeah. as you are as today. Thank you. So as a result of being in the fashion world, tell us why you feel it's important to be at an event like the Love Fest. Honestly, uh, first of all, thanks for having me. Um, I'm really excited to be at this event because I'm all about empowering our youth. And uh, society always tries to put us at the at the low, lowest bottom of the bottom of the total pole, from which we're the salt of the earth. You know, it's every bit so much to be proud of. Um, and I'm proud in any kind of way I can help and serve and make a positive impact in a child's life, even youth and young adults. I'm, I'm here for that. I live for it. He live for it. See, he understands what his rent is to be on this planet. Like I keep trying to tell y'all, and for all of us, seriously, we need to begin, more of us need to realize that the rent we pay to be on this planet is our service to others. Right, and so as I hear you share that, I just really get encouraged because one, there's not enough of us men right. that are showing up because there's a difference between a male and a man. And when men began to show up and show out and exhibit like such right. it, it gives those children that may never see that example right. something to aspire to so when you're in in your travels and in your journey of empowerment how do you feel the way that you dress impacts the minds of those you come in contact with well that's a very good question i feel like the way you dress tells a lot about the type of individual that you are and um you know they have a lot of different types of fashion fashion is kind of everything though i say uh, it's, it's not just in what you have on, it's where you go, who you hang out with, and when you're out with them, what it is it that you're doing, you know? Um, but for the most part, like, when people see our youth and young adults wearing their pants, sag down, they're behind, I mean, it makes them automatically associate that with prison from which you came from. And that's why they got too many uh, African Americans in prison right now. And so I feel like it's time to step up and, you know, make that positive impact in their life by not just telling them, but showing them too. You can still have a lot of swag and be dressed up without your pants have drop, drop down your butt, you know. So, you know, just trying to show and tell, you know. Trying to do a little show and tell. A little leadership by example. Is that what, that's, is that, what that is? And I absolutely love it because he does it with such natural flair and flow. Because, see, some, I interview a bunch of people. I talk to people on my radio show all the time. And there, there was a just, when I, even before I started conversing with Emmanuel, there was an aura and an essence about him that just said this brother bought his business. And so I really appreciate that Absolutely. first and foremost, you know, because there's too few of us that are, are given that once over and the response ain't ex exactly that favorable. Right. Yeah. So for that person that's struggling with making the transition, you dropped a couple of nuggets already. <laughs> what else would you say to that person that's not quite sure if they should quit sagging and begin to put on a sport coat and some jeans? What, what, would you, what would you say to them? I would say, you know, everyone's different in their unique own, own different unique way. I mean, that's why we're given all different set of fingerprints, you know, everybody's differently. Um, but at the same time, I just say stay true to who they are, you know. Don't let anyone determine what you got to wear or what you best looked in. If you feel comfortable in it, hey, that's fine, you know. But it needs to maintain somewhat of a professional essence if you're going to an interview. You just dress for the part where you're going to. It's just... You don't come in sneakers and jeans, you know, going to a formal event or whatever. So it's just kind of adapting to your environment. Just like, you know, when it's cold outside, you're going to put on a coat. You know, you ain't going to have on no tank top. Right. And so I just feel like, you know, I just feel like it's a little overrated as far as how far they take it. Mm -hmm. And uh, they need some good mentorships. And if a lot of the people of power would start doing that, they'll start reflecting it too as well. Because a lot of people just follow more than lead, you know. Nobody want to take that leap of faith and, and just kind of set the tone or whatever. But... I just feel like, you know, they think it's cool, really, you know. But I remember I used to wear, I had a little grill myself, 
You know, I had saggy pants that I wore every now and then. Mm -hmm. um, but then when I started dressing up, I started getting a different type of female that was attracted to that look. Come on now. And so I was Come like, on hey, now, you help know. Somebody. It's help so, somebody. You know, exactly. You can't expect anyone to love you or respect you or treat you any kind of way that you don't even treat yourself. And Ooh. so, you know, if you're looking like that, you can't expect them to think that you just rob a bank. Mm -hmm. You know, you got some money sag that's sagging them pants down, you know. <laughs> and so I just feel like if you want people to see you differently, I mean, this is the first thing that they see is your image. And you all, you and you alone are in charge of your brand, you know, so. That's what you about. and you alone are in charge of your brand. You heard it right here from Brother Emmanuel at the Love Fest, guys. And as we proceed to try and stop the violence, stop the incarceration, a common theme that I believe you are hearing throughout this entire day has been it requires a change in the mindset. Right, mindset yeah. And so I had a question relative to that because oftentimes, <coughs> I change up my wardrobe, or when I change up my wardrobe, it tends to alter, not my core, but it definitely changes the way that I think, depending on how I'm dressed. Has that been your experience as well? Absolutely, I, I mean, you, you walk a certain way when you have on fresh kicks, you know? Mm -hmm. I mean, and if you're paying a good amount of money for them too, you don't wanna mess them up, so you ain't running around like you're crazy, you know? Mm -hmm. So. Uh, your clothes and your fashion does have a pronounced effect on how you act, even publicly, you know? Man, that is powerful. And Emmanuel, <laughs> I am so grateful. And again, thank you for being the king that you are and no, representing you. in the Appreciate manner that you, that you do. Mm -hmm. It is just really, really awesome. So for the people out there in Love Fest world that might need a little bit of hip with your wardrobe, how can they connect with you? Uh, well, you can actually uh, go to our website, www.professionalempire.com. That's P R O. F A S H I O N A L Empire E M P I R E dot com, uh, or email me at Emmanuel at Professional Empire dot com. Man, thank you so much, and I'm about to pass off and see right on camera. I need you to connect with me, my bro. Uh oh, here you go, here you go. No, no, you good? I got plenty. <laughs> I got plenty for today's event. But brother Emmanuel King, it's an absolute pleasure to meet someone of your caliber, and we look forward to connecting. All right, brother. All right, brother. God bless you.